Thank you for listening to another edition of Interview with DJ Nocturna. Uh, if you're watching on YouTube, please like, subscribe, and share. And welcome to the show. My guest all the way from New Zealand is uh, Justine Olgadra Sharp. She is a singer and musician. And she lives all the way in New Zealand in, in a place very similar, which I can relate to. In, it's called Waimea. In the movie, we were just talking about that. That's amazing. Waimea. I didn't even know there's a place over there called Waimea. Yeah, so that's, that's the Maori, um, the, the Maori word for, for this area is Waimea, which is Hawaiian, obviously. It's, that's where it's come from. And so a lot of, um, there's, there's a lot of connections between Hawaii and New Zealand. Um, Definitely. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's why Very you know rich. when you know I I know you 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 have a connection with uh, Michelle Rowland of uh, UTM Music Group, and yeah. when when he sent me your music, I go oh New Zealand hmm okay and then I listened to your songs and I was really I was uh, I loved it I I loved the one that uh, uh, particularly the the lounge bar cabaret music mm -hmm. I, yeah. I, so it's very beautiful and so I I said you know what I'm I'm gonna I want to do an interview with her. Um, just oh, thank you. <laughs> going around the world now. Um, yeah, I, I do a lot of interviews. I mean, sometimes you got to schedule these things. I, you're a day ahead of, of me and you're yeah, yeah, over yeah. there and it's Thursday over here. And uh, sometimes you got to yeah. make sure those times are right or those days are right or else you get the days wrong. So I always have my phone. I'm kind of used to it already. I can figure it out. <laughs> yeah, and not but, too know, bad to remembering hours because it is really just a day. Mm -hmm. almost you know maybe um 13 hours 12 hours it, it, um, it is 3 p.m you know, over there right yeah yeah not not 12 hours um yeah almost a day yeah 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 well we're kind of like similar in the time zone but you're just a day ahead i think something That's like that right. yeah. yeah yeah i need i need more gin to make my maths better <laughs> I know that's a nice colored gin. I mean, I I love gin. I, I tell you, um, it's it's a really good gin. This is um, <laughs> I'm not being paid by Hendrix, but this is a Hendrix gin. Oh yeah, that's and, definitely. Um, and I just chuck berries in it. Oh, that's why it looks it looks delicious. It is. It's kind of bad. Yes, it does. <laughs> and the background. <laughs> yeah, it does. Thank you. Yeah, oh. you have the whole ambiance going there. But you know, uh, well, thank yeah. you. Thank you so much for joining me. It's always a pleasure to have you. And uh, I'm really excited to chat a little bit about your music. I know you have a, a debut solo EP that you just released. And mm -hmm. um, it's called She. But before we go yeah. there, I wanted to just talk a little bit about your, your musical background. I know you, uh, you've you been in music for a while. You're a musician. You've been in several bands in New Zealand. Now, are you yeah. are you originally from New Zealand? Yeah, yeah, I am. I'm a, I'm, I'm, I'm a mixture of many, like a lot of us here in New Zealand. So, um, so I have a, a French and Irish and a Maori background. Oh, and English, of course. Sorry, Dad. Um, and uh, so, so it's sort of a conglomeration of cultures, really. Mm -hmm. um, and um, I, yeah, pretty grateful to have the Maori connection um, because. Uh, you know um this 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 country is um you know was colonized not that long ago and um you know you it does it's the culture's uh still quite new uh from a european perspective from maori perspective it's ancient but um so you know um we we we, we whiteies are still quite very much visitors you know um Although I don't think they think that that's the case, um, it's mm -hmm. you know it's it's an ancient land and um, and so having that connection, that Māori connection, helps to ground me because oh, for a yeah. long time I sort of felt a bit displaced and I didn't know that I had um, Māori background until I was about oh, I think I was about seventeen or eighteen years old, so oh. um, it was kept quiet. We didn't talk about that kind of thing and almost a, a shameful thing which is wrong um and uh so i'm raising my i've got two daughters and so i'm making sure that they're raised knowing about their background and mm -hmm. and um and and our iwi our taranaki iwi so yeah iwi's a tribe 
for oh, those yeah, people yeah. who don't know. Yeah. Mm. Wow, interesting. And I know you have that Irish background as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On both sides of the family. Uh, yeah, on both sides of the family. So on my mother's side and on my father's side of the Irish background. And, and uh, Ogadra is connected to um, my mother's side of the Farno family, uh, where she, um, uh, her great great grandparents, one was Māori, one was Irish, and the rest is history, so to speak. But um, yeah, the name the name Ogadra is the the proper Celtic name for what is now known as Geary. Oh. And um, you know, just like many things, you know, the English come in and or, or another nation come in and they can't pronounce the name, so they make it what they think it would be better as because they can pronounce it better. So um, Gary is a English uh, version of the the proper name, which is Ogadra, and I'm I want to bring it back, so that's why oh. I use it as part of my yeah part of my yeah creative. Oh, that I, I I'm always learning things, all, new things all the time. So you, you, tell us about your musical background. I know you've uh, you you've been in several projects. Yeah, musical, yeah. yeah. A long time ago now it's uh, you know um it seems seems like a lifetime ago really I, 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 when i was in my late teens early 20s i was hard out at um at, 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 in the music scene in christchurch in the in the 90s and um and you know there were some really awesome bands in christchurch in the 90s that really paved the way for for some really awesome stuff that, that that came you know like um i don't know um whether you've heard much of the stuff um from christchurch back in those uh, back in the 90s but it was you know it kind of had that grunge flavor but it had something quite unique about mm -hmm. it i can't quite describe there was a certain bleakness um but a, a beautiful bleakness about it and mm -hmm. um and and I remember um, a, a friend of mine, Dave Kahn, I saw his industrial type band, Leonard Nimoy, back in the day, and I was really inspired by oh, yeah, their music. Yeah. Have you heard did, have you heard of Leonard Nimoy? Yeah, I, I have, yeah. Yeah, so I mean they were um they were using like um bits of sheets of metal and aluminium and they were kind of banging that and had drums and, and Dave's voice. It was kind of like a Kind of reminded me of the swans um mixed with other stuff it had this industrial edge to it and it was just bleakly beautiful and um i wanted to get in on that <laughs> yeah uh, was, was yeah. there a big was there a big like goth scene there yeah i mean you know um yeah it was, it was pretty healthy um there were a lot of punks and goths we all kind of hung out and 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 uh got messy mm -hmm. most weekends um lots of gigs that we went to were pretty supportive of each other and in, in that regard um but we were very self-deprecating you know i think a lot of these people um you know I, i'm amazed that they're not well known because they were such creative brilliance mm -hmm. but but because of the era and 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 also gen x generally I mean, we've never been a, a generation where we're kind of like, look at me kind of thing. Um, we're a lot more subdued, um, right, probably because right. we weren't allowed to talk much because our parents <laughs> would tell us to be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, yeah. So, um, yeah, there was a pretty healthy goth and punk scene for sure. It was fun. It was good fun. And so I, I started to, to play music back then and muck around and... Um, Get together with a few different people and 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 do do some projects and so but it was always with other people i hadn't done anything independently and mm -hmm. um i craved that um i got yeah. a little bit yeah i needed a bit of structure i, I got uh -huh. a little bit sick of the um kind of ambient noise right right Mm. You know the band that I remember, and I had to I have to really think about it, it was Split Ends 
Split Ends. There was a, they were, they're from New Zealand, I believe. Split Ends. Yeah. I got you. You know that song, I got you. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> not, not my kind of thing, but yeah, that is, that is one of the, um, <laughs> one of the old bands. <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, they were popular for sure. Oh, yeah. 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 Well, I remember, mm. um, I've never been there. I, I have yet to go to New Zealand, but I'm hoping I will. Yeah. yeah. It's a, it's a treat for sure. Um, beautiful place. Um, so you right know, now it's... you live in, um, do you live in, uh, you live in Waimea, right? Yeah. So that's, so, so we're two islands. There's the North Island and the South Island, and I'm at the top of the South Island. You know, there's like a little dip in the top mm -hmm. of the South Island and I'm kind of in the middle there. They look like two toes I'm in the middle. Oh, okay. And, um, yeah, and um, it's the the area is known as Tasman mm -hmm. in English, um, and um, yeah. and, yeah. and the, the closest city to me is Nelson, um, but I don't I live about thirty kilometers south of of Nelson, um, and uh -huh. and that that region is called Waimea. So you mm -hmm. are um, a drummer. Yeah. And and uh, as well as a vocalist, right? Yeah, and also um, uh, keyboards. But I have to say, you know, um, I I can't say that I play drums or keyboards particularly well. It was just sort of kind of a needs must, really. Um, I played drums and sang um, in a wee band that I had called the Gale way 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 back in the nineties. Mm -hmm. And um, that was kind of amusing because I was always, I'm quite short and um, the drum kit would be around me and I'd be stuck down low and people could hear a voice, but they couldn't actually see who was singing. <laughs> so that was quite fun. Um, and then, yeah, and then um, with with Polka True, which is what um, she, the EP she is, is largely um, recorded under that, that um, tro uh, that project name, um, mm -hmm. Iva, my partner at the time, um, was the drummer, a, a really good drummer. Um, he he loved drum and bass and all that kind of stuff. So it's got it's got that kind of drum and bass um, style, mm -hmm. that sort of um, feel to it that he he does, which I, I don't know how it just sort of worked. And um, yeah. Yeah, he, he's quite a a light character, and and I'm a bit more sort of I don't know, not dark, but deeper deeper thinking, a little bit more emotional, maybe. I'm not sure. Back then, anyway, definitely a bit more brooding, and um, somehow the light and the dark kind of. Oh, that's a perfect combination. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. it made a, it made it you know made an interesting sound. So this debut, your solo debut, is called. Is, so let, let me let me pronounce it for people. It's called she. I mean, it's yeah. pronounced she, but it's spelled S I D H E, which is yes, has its, yes. uh, has its uh, Irish origin. Yeah, it's Gaelic folklore, mm. right? Yeah. Yeah. So Irish Ga Ga yeah, Irish Gaelic, just like my surname, and um, it's to do with the fairy folk and um, and and the the the, the she of the mounds where the fairies reside. Um, in their underworld or their other world, really. Um, they're not that far from us, um, really. Yeah. In my opinion. Um, no, I, I always, agree. Yeah. I agree. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, wow, you know, yeah. So, so this album, this EP, um, I know you have some tracks in here. I think, what is it, like five of them? Is that five or six? Yeah, I, I six, can't remember. Six, 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 I think, yeah, six. Yeah. And and the, some of the the songs were written around earlier, right? I mean, it's a earlier time. Oh yeah, I mean, like this was the the this was done in tw twenty years ago. Um, the these songs were written, yeah, yeah, as I say, twenty odd years ago, and um, through a whole lot of circumstances, it just kept getting put off. Um, Mm. the final process of of getting it uh, mastered and 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 together i mean there was a, a whole lot of drama about <laughs> that recording and um it became kind of like this 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 thing that 
almost was like a monkey on my back and I, I, um, I was beginning to loathe uh, the process and, and um, I had my hard drive and it was partly done and it was partly done and only done in, in, in sort of pretty negative circumstances. And, um, you know, the years kind of peeled by and, and I'd, you know, be moving boxes around and see this fucking hard drive there, you know, looking at me, me looking at it and, uh -huh. um, and thinking, oh, you know, when am I ever, I, you know, just when am I ever going to get that thing finished? Uh -huh. And, um, and then out of the blue, uh, a guy I knew from back in the day, Mercy Cage, which you might, may have heard yeah, of the Mercy yeah, Cage. He, he did the remix of one of the yeah uh, yeah 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 well he did a lot more than the remix i can tell you he um he did the production of it he's played on it he's basically oh. i i i can tell you that if it wasn't for josh wood this ep we wouldn't be having this discussion now um without his support and actually getting this this thing over the line so so he called me out well he messaged me i think actually no he wouldn't have called me he messaged me um out of the blue a few years ago and he said oh look you know I'm doing an EP and and would you would you sing on it you know would you be keen and I said hell yeah I'd be keen so um I did that and he said well you know you've done me this favor of of um singing on my EP um and um he said oh you know I'm happy to help you with yours and I said well you know mine's probably a little bit more work because <laughs> of the state it was in and him and my friend Brian, um, they, they did, they got to it. And they somehow, with very little instruction, put the damn thing together. And, and here oh, we are. So That's great. Yeah. That's wonderful. Yeah. So I know so all these songs that's in, that's in the album, were they, were they songs that you, do you, were, were that the name of the songs from the beginning, from the beginning? Or yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So they were all written back then and, and, and a, a kind of like little, um, snapshots of time of moments back in, in the late nineties, early two thousands. Um, yeah, that, that inspired that them yeah. to come forth. Yeah. And um, I mean, I'm I'm pagan, and and a lot of a lot of what I write, even now, is um, has a kind of a nature nature theme about it. Um, although, if I was to do um, music now, it, it would be quite different. I, I I do a lot of Middle Eastern style singing, and um, oh yeah, oh yeah. yeah. You know, I, I I know you're also um you also dance with a Kurdish uh, folk group, right? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, I did. I sang with them as well. That was that was fun. Yeah, <laughs> crazy guys. Yeah, yeah, that was a good experience. And um, yeah, there's something about the Middle East and yeah, that Middle yeah, Eastern totally, sound that's very yeah, evocative. Oh yeah, me. I, I love I love that that sound as well. Mm. Mm. So th so this tracks. I know there's um. So Michelle Rowland is in playing guitar or he's sing it's also singing no, it's not yeah he's singing so he, he didn't play guitar oh. he he sang on stanley's only hope and um and i've always wanted to do a duet with 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 michelle um because he's just got such a stunning voice yeah he does uh, i mean you know i i remember the first time i i saw him play i i couldn't i couldn't quite match the voice to the body because <laughs> it's just little waif like goth boy and here's this rich <laughs> voice <laughs> just came out you know and i'm like holy uh, fuck man that dude's <laughs> got some pipes and 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 i you know i wanted to i wanted to sing with him and we, we you know we've been friends for a for a long time and uh, how'd and, you guys uh, how'd you get meet uh well, he lives in New I Zealand. Think it, was, so I, I, yeah. it was a gig. Um, I think yeah. I, I I was playing at um, um, in Wellington. I was do, touring Flinch. I think oh, that yeah, was yeah. what it was. And um, and he he came up to me and he said, "Oh, we've got to talk business." I cracked up laughing. <laughs> <laughs> He's so serious, you know. But um, 
yeah so well, we did we did talk about business and talk about what you know what we could do musically together and and um and uh, you know that that opened a path to a very long um winding road between he and i um yeah. not always smooth um but you know that's yeah it's a connection that's always enriching you know it's, it's a true mm -hmm. testament of a real friendship when you're still you know have a laugh and 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 oh, yeah. you know can you get together some i don't know how many years over 20 closer to 30 i'd say um no that's that's yeah. a, that's, a, that's a real friendship and obviously uh hmm. you guys collaborated uh, that song really well together i love that song stanley's only Hope. what does that mean stanley's only hope i mean if you want to talk about that no you don't have to um it's, <laughs> I, I always give people the opportunity to to talk about yeah, it yeah. I, know some, um, I think i think that... i'd rather you know what i think that i'd rather leave that up to the imagination because okay. you know sometimes when 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 someone that's written a song tells you what you what where they're coming from it kind of ruins it yeah yeah you're right i'd rather you just go there in your imagination and 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 fill in the blanks yourself <laughs> now anybody watching this is going to say now i really want to see what that song sounds like yeah so that, go yeah, ahead it's only a dollar on Bandcamp. come on <laughs> <laughs> great song so the the tracks um is very seductive cabaret style dark electronic which is beautiful i mean people check, you got to check that out on bandcamp so they can yeah, find yeah. this on um what is your band it's a band camp so look under it's justine she so s-i-d-h-e um yeah justine she um at bandcamp justine and, um, yeah. that's justine yeah. and then s-i-d-h-e if uh, that's the one yeah, yeah and, and it's, i think it's six dollars um or if you don't want to do that you can just buy a single track mm -hmm. um or right. you don't even have to do that just have a listen um <laughs> i love Bandcamp for that reason it's 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 very accessible mm. yeah you know i was reading one of your um i was reading your uh, your press release something about when you guys made them this 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 songs you you were on the treehouse yeah you know so we lived in the you know the, the I, I read a book uh, many, many years ago. So it was a, a writer from New Zealand. I think it was The Bone People. Oh, yep. yep. And I, and uh, I, Kerry I, Kuhn. Mm. Yeah, I, I recall somebody living in the in the treehouse. That's why well, I'm like, it, it brought back memories <laughs> for me. I go, treehouse. So <laughs> that's well, really. It was that's... actually, it was a house in um, Auckland in, in an area called Titarangi, and it was, it's filled with native bush. And, and Ivor and I found this house that was, um built on the side of i don't know it would have been been on the edge of a hill um that that just mm -hmm. basically dropped down into native bush and when you walked out of our deck it was very high up off the ground and it was just native native bush as far as the eye could sit well you know it was just dense thick bush it's the only way i could describe it and it was like living in a treehouse because the birds were right there the insects were right there and um mm -hmm. yeah it was it was beautiful it was a, a damp but um beautiful spot yeah yeah it's beautiful mm. you know i i i love this cultural you know what you're telling me your background I mean, it's just beautiful how we were expressing this you know people listening i'm sure will enjoy it because you know it's another culture new zealand yeah yeah, yeah it is it I, is it's I, layered I, it, it is layered and um and um you know it's 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 complicated in in some ways um and not in others uh, there, there's a long way to go i think mm -hmm. with New Zealanders um you know sorting themselves out as far as one kind of nation yeah. um and and I mean you know that's like that in so many other countries. New Zealand, it's not just um, particular to to New Zealand. Um, not that I'm trying to be reductive, but um, you know it's 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 just how it is. Um, yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, I'm really excited to. Um, I I know you released the album already. Mm. 
this month, February 2nd, I believe. And uh, yeah, t- second of the second, 2022. Yeah, had to be all the twos. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And if people want to reach out to you, they, you, you have a website as well. Um, so, you know, uh, Instagram, um, is, I've got the, the Instagram there and I've got the Facebook. I don't have a website. Um, I think that's probably gone a bit too far for me at this point in the stage of the game. <laughs> um, I, you know, I'm working I've got two kids as well and that's, uh-huh. it's pretty busy. Yeah. So no, it's a great album. Yeah. I think, thank I, you. I, it's, it's really good songs. I mean, people got to check that out for sure. Um, yeah, yeah. And yeah, it's, um, Justine Algadra Sharp, and uh, you can find her on Bandcamp. Is Justine She S I D H E? So Justine S I D H E. That's how you pronounce it. It's she, but it's spelled a little differently mm-hmm. there. And that's in Bandcamp. And um, yeah, and thank thank you so much for joining me. Anything else you want to mention about um, anything happening or anything going on that you want to mention about? Mm, there's little things maybe happening. Um, I'm a little bit sort of hesitant to say just in case it doesn't come to fruition, but, but just watch the space and um, yeah. Thank you for inviting me to have a, have a corridor oh, yeah. with oh, you. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. Like I said, you know, I love the, the, the yeah. Thank you very much though. Yeah. For, for being on the show, I'm going to turn off the recording here. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. And if you, and if you, if you guys are watching, please like subscribe and share if you're watching on the YouTube channel. It's also going to be on my podcast, djnocturna.com. There we go. I'm going to turn this off.